Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Titans, Season 2, Episode 1, Trigon. So, I'm just gonna, this is actually the first series that I've been caught up with to do weekly reviews of the shows as they come out. I always thought it would be Picard with the Star Trek stuff, but this is it. So, this is actually super exciting. So, I guess I'm gonna throw out that, um, pro spoiler warnings, um, throughout this whole review. So, if you haven't seen it, you probably should watch it before my reaction, but I guess that doesn't really make sense. So I guess my just initial reaction was I actually did not like this episode. Like I thought parts of it were okay, but overall like it didn't grasp me as well as I think it should have for a season two premiere. So if you just want initial reaction, there you go. If you're going to keep watching, like be forewarned about spoilers. So this episode felt very like season one-ish. Like if season one had been 12 episodes, it could have just been tacked onto that. And I feel like the ending of this episode would have actually been a better cliffhanger than the season one ending we did get, where it's just Dick with the, the black rings around his eyes. I feel like this would have been a much better season one finale. That being said, Trigon's kind of a little bitch in this episode. Like, he, this whole first season was built up, and he's taken down in like 10 seconds. But you know what, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me back up. So, the the whole episode is Gar just immediately wakes up, and Rachel basically needs to have her heart broken. And even Donna's like, is that figurative or like metaphorical? Or figurative or literally? And they're like, I don't know, she just needs to have her heart broken so Trigon can take Take control of the world somehow and it's like okay so already i'm like what the fuck's going on here uh hank and dawn find jason todd because of rachel's random coma waking up thing um they do name drop that bruce is off with the justice league and what kind of pissed me off, and I wish they would have talked about it a little bit more, is Jason's like, oh, well, I could help you find Dick because he has a tracker. And Hank's like, oh, he already took the tracker out. He has the scar to prove it. And he's like, well, what about the second tracker? And it's like, what the fuck is that? Like, seriously, does Dick actually have a second tracker in him somehow? Or I, I'm going to choose to believe that Jason just made that up to kind of get them to go after Dick. Although they never confirm or deny if there's a second tracker or not. But as soon as he says that there was a second tracker and only he can help them find Dick, I was like, fuck this. Like, I'm, I'm over it. So I'm going to choose to believe that Jason was just bullshitting his way through it. Uh, but I would have liked to have at least seen it. I love the part where they do show up and Donna's like, Hi, this is Corey Anders. She's an alien. And I was like, damn, like that's xenophobic, like at all. And even like Corey's like, could you have phrased that differently? Uh, but it was kind of a fun little scene because we've like established who Starfire is and that she's an alien. Uh, watching Dick chase Rachel and Gar through the house was like really kind of creepy and as everybody kind of comes in watching them kind of relive their most traumatic moments like I know very little about Donna like I'm not gonna lie I was the the boy's boy growing up which you could take that any way you want but I loved Batman like Superman was meh whatever Flash was great Green Lantern was great like Wonder Woman had very little interest to me so like Wonder Girl had even less interest to me to I'm just being honest here so I know very little about like her origin stories and stuff like that. I thought she was created on Themyscira just like Wonder Woman was. But um, I guess in this reality, or I kind of looked it up just a tiny bit, like this is kind of going with that, like her father burned in a fire. And so we see Donna relive those moments, which I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, the Jason versus Dick fight was fantastic, like very well choreographed. It looked amazing. That being said, like, Dick would have beat Jason with, like, no sweat. Because, I mean, he was an acrobat. He was, I, I mean, he was in the circus, for fuck's sake. And, like, he was with Batman for, what, like, at least 10 years. So he has all of that training. Like, he would have just beat Jason down without even thinking about it. But the loaded gun and the shot to the head, like, actually kind of took me by surprise. I was like, they went dark with that. 
Um, and then we see Hank and Don do heroin, which was a really odd choice to me. I didn't, I don't even remember Corey being taken over. Like if they skipped over it or I just blinked for a second, I don't even remember seeing that one. But we see all of them like turn to the dark side and they all get the rings and they're all now part of Trigon's force. They end up just gangbanging and beating the shit out of Gar, which was kind of a hard scene. Um, and so finally, like, like there's glimmers of this episode that are pretty good and then at this point where Trigon like actually reaches into Rachel's chest Indiana Jones style and pulls out her broken heart and then it's the crystal and then he puts the crystal into her forehead I was like that's the best fucking way that you can get the the raven crystal in her forehead like I don't know that, that whole scene just seemed really forced to me Trigon looks pretty badass like I'm not gonna lie he actually looked really good he kills Agatha, or, uh, why do I, I've called her Agatha in so many of these reviews. I don't know why. He kills Angela like it's nothing. And I was like, that's kind of a pointless scene as well. Uh, we finally see Gar turn into something other than the tiger, which at this point, it's a green snake, which most snakes are green. So I don't know why I said that. Uh, he turns into a snake and, and he's actually, he wakes up Rachel, who wakes up Dick, who wakes up, who wakes up, who wakes up. And the whole thing is just like, it seems too neat. It's wrapped up in a bow too tightly for me. Um, finally, I hated the scene where Rachel goes to talk to her father and she's like, hey, dad. And he's like, now's not the time. And she's like, boom. Yes, it is. And he like knocks, she knocks him into like the previous dimension back into hell. She like blows his arm off, whatever. Like it's so quick. And I absolutely hated how fast it was. Which, first of all, if him, like, conquering the world depends on breaking her heart, and then he puts the crystal in her fort, why? Why would he not keep that crystal? Or why would he not put it into himself? The whole thing didn't make sense. And then just her beating him with, like, it took a season to get to this point, and she knocks him out without a single blow. Like, the whole thing just kind of annoyed me. And I was like, okay, well, I guess that's it for the first episode. And I was I was kind of done with it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I was like, okay, so that's, that's it. Well, okay. So, no, it actually does continue for quite a while. Where, like, the team kind of splits up. Corey says goodbye. Donna says goodbye. Hank and Don say goodbye. And it's Dick, Jason, Gar, and Rachel going on their own separate ways. Uh, we get this little flashback of Slade Wilson, which, again, I know very little about. Like, I get there's a lot of Deadpool jokes about Slade and Wilson and stuff like that. And I know he's Deathstroke. Fuck. At least I'm pretty sure he's Deathstroke. I always get Deathstroke and Deadshot mixed up. I think Deadshot was, like, Damien's teacher. And this is Deathstroke. So, I don't know, somebody watching this is going to be like, you're an idiot. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know it that well, but I'm pretty sure he was Deathstroke. And so what triggers him and makes him come out of retirement is Jason being like, Titans return, bitches. And it's kind of like, okay, so they're returning. And then sure enough, we see Dick actually go talk to Bruce, played by uh, Lane Glenn, I think was his name, um, who I don't know if I've ever heard him with an American accent before. Like, he's a great actor. I know he was in, like, Resident Evil, and I think he was in one of the Laura Croft movies, most notably Game of Thrones. His American accent felt really awkward to me, maybe because I know him mostly from Game of Thrones, but hearing him talk was just really weird. And he says as well, like, oh, I saw some of your old Titan friends and you got some new ones. So I mentioned in a previous review how like Titans is evidently not a thing. There was no Titans. There was no Young Justice. There was none of that. Evidently, I was wrong. And there was a Titans and it was Dick, Donna, Hawk and Dove. And so that's interesting to me that they never really talked about it. Like they talk about how they had teamed up before, but that there was never really a Titans group, that there was a sidekicks like offshoot. I find that super interesting and I'm really interested to see more about that. 
So he agrees to basically let them go to San Francisco. And to be honest, like I'm not sold on Bruce so far. Like I'm not, I think like Glenn's a terrific actor. I'm not sure how I like him as Bruce yet. Like it's still the first episode. It's the first time we've seen him. I don't know. We'll see. But he agrees to let them go to San Francisco and redo the Titans on one condition. He hasn't said what it was, but we basically see the team go to their old, go to the old new hideout and actually kind of see like, like where their uniforms were and stuff like that. So I'm expecting to see Nightwing in this season because why would there be two Robins? And I'm actually kind of expecting that to be the one condition is him like become your own man type thing. So, but evidently the Titans is an official group. So I'm expecting Nightwing to show up. I'm expecting, of course, Starfire to return. And based on the last episode, Superboy to make an appearance. So overall, like I, I would not say it's a great season opening. Like I said, if this had been the season finale, I may have actually liked it a little bit more. But like the whole Trigon thing was just a joke. Like nothing fucking happened. And then we get Deathstroke, we get uh, Batman, and we get the Titans reforming. And that would have been a better season finale than a season premiere. So for those who saw this one, what did you guys think for the premiere? What did you guys think of the new characters? What did you think about everything going on? Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. And I will see you guys next time for Rose.